All right, we'll go ahead and get this public meeting started. Um, thank you for those that are joining online and thank you for our, our, our at this point, attendee. <laughs> thank you very much for coming out tonight. Um, we do appreciate people that are interested in this and, and so uh, thank you for coming. Uh, this should be um, a quick meeting, and, but we're happy to take any questions. There's a, a few ways that you can do that and we'll talk about that later on in this public meeting. We have um, staff available. And if you're listening online, you'd, li you'd like to come down. We have people that, are, that um, can answer questions tonight. Um, uh, otherwise, we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Michael Drake. I'm the assistant state engineer uh, over the adjudication section in the Utah Division of Water Rights. And uh, w what we're talking about tonight is the, uh, the list of unclaimed rights for the Jordan L subdivision. And uh, that, was, uh, that was published a little while ago, and we sent out a whole bunch of notices, and that's probably what got um, uh, people to, uh, to tune into this, this public meeting. So let's move along here. Um, these are a few of the things we'll talk about tonight. We're going to review the adjudication process and where we are in, in that process. We'll talk about the list of unclaimed rights. We'll talk about how to file an objection. If you have a water right on the list of unclaimed rights, we'll talk about what you need to do. There are instructions um, in, the, in the document and we'll, we'll review those. And uh, we'll talk about how to access it and then we'll talk about the timeline and again, we're here for questions. You can see this email address that is, is listed on the screen right now. Uh, that goes directly to my phone. And, um, and I can forward that and get that to the appropriate people to, to uh, answer those questions. And so I'll try and monitor that as, as we go if there's a question that someone has and they'd like to, um, to, to bring that up. Okay, so this is the adjudication process. And we, we, started, this, um, we started this a while ago. And um, it's, a, it's a very complicated process, so we, we try and break it down for everyone. Um, you, you can kind of think of it in three different parts, and uh, let's let's uh, start uh, completing this and giving dates for what we've already done. You can see we're we're part of we're part of the way through this process at this point. Uh, the notice was served back in in March of 22, and uh, we held an initial public meeting in in this building in Heber, and then following that meeting, we sent out a notice to file claims, and 90 days. Um, uh, where it was given to respond with, with water user claims. Um, it, since that time, we've compared all of the claims we received to the known water rights of record, and we've compiled what's called the list of unclaimed rights, and that's what we're here to talk about tonight. Um, that list of unclaimed rights was published with the uh, district court on August 2nd, and, there's, and that started a 90-day a uh, period where um, water users can object, and um, that is, uh, and so that's running as we speak right now, and then here we are right now in the public meeting, so that's in progress. We've also begun working in this area. We're evaluating all of the claims that we have received and, and processing that, those and working our way towards a, a proposed determination. Um, and so uh, that's, uh, that's where we are at this point. Um, so let me see, I do have a, 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 something that came through real quick. Um, okay. All right, actually not something that applies to this. All right, so we'll keep moving. All right, so uh, what's in the list of unclaimed rights? All right, um, so this is a general listing of the contents in the, in the list of unclaimed rights, and we'll kind of bounce through these um, each in turn. And so this is the title page. There are a few important things that would apply to, um, to you, if you if you need to file an objection or if you need to work with this document. So this is the district court. So this adjudication is proceeding in the third district court. And so if you were to file an objection, you would need to do so in this court. Um, this is the general adjudication description. And, um, and this, this goes back to when this adjudication started. And this is the judge, and more importantly, this is the civil number. If you were to file an objection in, in this adjudication, you would need to reference this civil number. 
I know it might be a little small. It's actually a little out of focus. Can we fix that? Oh, jeez. That's a little bit better um, for those in the room. Apologize for those that are online. That probably looks crystal clear for you. Um, okay, so that's the civil number. Again, for those in, that are in attendance here tonight, uh, we have copies and we, we can get that number for you if you need to um, read that and get that um, written down somewhere. But this is the civil number you'll want to reference. And then this is the hydrologic division and the subdivision name that um, is the subject of our public meeting tonight. And again, this is, this is the book that's been assigned to it, 5513. And so it's the Jordanelle subdivision. All right, so moving along here, this is the notice to water users page. And um, it repeats some of the same information we've talked about, but most importantly on this page are the instructions for filing an objection. If you have a water right that is, has been listed on the list of unclaimed rights and you believe that is inappropriate, now is your time in this 90-day period to object. Um, and the way you do that is you need to file that objection with, with the district court. Now very importantly is that objection also, also needs to be accompanied by a, your water user claim. And so that's important, it's a two-parter. File an objection with the court and then file your water user claim with that objection. Okay, and we can't, we can't receive that. We can't receive the objection. That objection needs to be submitted with the court. Okay, this is generally the area that we are working on. Um, if you kind of think of a, a squiggly line that's drawn along the peaks surrounding Jordanelle Reservoir, that would be a pretty good approximation of the area that we're adjudicating. Um, we've previously, um, done the list of unclaimed rights for the areas down in Heber, and we're working our way up to Prover River. So this is our subject for the night, um, is the Jordan L subdivision. All right, um, this is what a typical page in the list of unclaimed rights looks like. Very simple, and um, it's a, simply a listing of rights by the water right number. This is a number that's assigned by the state engineer, and then the owner of record, and this is very important. Um, we don't always, the state engineer's office doesn't always have the current owner of a water right. Um, it, the the uh, office of record for ownership is not the state engineer's office, it's the county recorder's office. And so it's often the case that people have not updated ownership with our records. And so it's in, it, this, this could be a reason that, the, um, that this information doesn't match. And so if that's the case, contact our staff. We can help you through that process of updating title. But you may find that your water right isn't under your name. And if that's the case, this could be the reason. So in this case, this is a water right that, at least according to our records, is owned by Heber City, as you can see. Um, also, we list the water right by its point of diversion. This is a way that you can try and locate where this water right was to try and connect it to for example, maybe your, the use on your property. And again, we can help you with locating this. We have a lot of mapping software that can help you analyze this and figure out um, if this water right pertains to you. Okay, so that's the listing. That's how rights are listed. We also list rights alphabetically by the owner of record. And so you can go onto this page and again, you'll find the owner, the name of, of the owner of record. The same caveats apply here. This is just the last known owner that demonstrated their ownership to, uh, to the state engineer. But it might not be the, the owner of record when it comes to the county. And then after the owner, we have the point of diversion, the source, where the water is coming from, and then the water right number and the page where you'll find that water right number. Okay? All right, so that's the alphabetic. And that's kind of the, it's a very simple document. It's just a listing of water rights. That's, that's, um, that's what constitutes the list of unclaimed rights. Um, let's talk about what, what, is, what has just happened. So in the adjudication process, we send notice to all of the known water right owners of record, the property owners within the Jordanelle subdivision, and, and then re registered agents and, and councils of record. That's all, those are all people that receive notice of the list of unclaimed rights. This is a very big mailing. We do this a couple times through the adjudication process. 
Um, this will be the final one. The next notices, the, the, the notices after this will, will be only to those um, waterite or those water users that have um, demonstrated um, or that have a water right that is in, in this subdivision. And so it's very important if you have a water right at this point to make yourself known by filing a water user claim, filing an objection. All right, you can, you can, um, you can access the list of, uh, of unclaimed rights using the link that you can see on the screen. Uh, this was also provided in the notice that was mailed to all of those, those parties that I, I listed above. You can also obtain that from the district court or from us. We can help you um, get, it, get access to the list of unclaimed rights. All right, let's talk about timeline real quick. Um, I already covered a little bit of this. August 2nd was when this was filed with the district court. That starts a 90-day period to object. That uh, ends on October 31st of 2023. And so if you were to object, that needs to happen before that date. Um, projecting out where we are in this subdivision, we continue to work here. We have teams that are working up in this area, and um, we expect that we're, you know that as that proceeds, we'll go through the final summons, possibly sometimes sometime in early 2024, and then we're projecting that we may be able to publish the final document in the in the adjudication, the the proposed determination, sometime in 2025. We have a lot of work to do, and so we're going to you're going to see us up in this area evaluating water rights, and if you are a water user in the area, we're going to contact you and do a field review and come out and evaluate your water right. And so that work will continue through the next couple years as we work our way towards uh, completing this adjudication. Okay, so that, that is the end of, of this, and this is the point where um, if you have questions, um, we have people here to answer those questions, and I'll... Um, I'll take a look at and see if I have any emails. Um, again, I don't see anything um, in my emails to respond to. Are there, are there any other questions that have been posted online, Frank? No, not Nothing? Have. Okay. No, we do have a few people online. A few people online. Okay. Well, welcome to those that, that joined late. Um, on the screen, you see a few different contexts um, that you, you can use. You can see my contact information there. Again, I am Mike Drake, Michael Drake. Uh, we also have John Haigwood, and John Haigwood, at least for those in the building, is right back in the corner, um, directly in front of me. And, and then we, we have Tristan Palmer, who is the uh, team lead over this subdivision. And Tristan also brought some additional staff members, um, and so we have a few people here that can answer questions. And so um, with that, I think I'll uh, bring to a close the recorded uh, public meeting portion here, unless there's any other questions online. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll leave it open. Is there, for anyone that's listening online, now's your chance to, uh, to throw a question out there. All right, so it's a, a reference to uh, so a, a what? B-E-N-L-O-C-H Ranch. B-E-N-L-O-C-H Ranch. All right. Um, it, it, it seems you're probably part of the adjudication area. If your, if your water right comes through a, a municipality or a water company, um, I, I can guarantee you we've received claims for all of those, all of those companies, all of those municipalities. And so this entire adjudication process only applies if you yourself own and operate a water right. And the way that you would know that is most likely is do you have a well on your property? That might be something that would um, suggest that you have a water right. And uh, so that would be something that you would look for. Um, if you have additional questions, um, I'd encourage you to reach out to, to Tristan or to John, and we can, we can dig in on, on your parcel specifically. And in fact, if you would like to email your parcel um, or your, your address, um, we'll respond to you directly. Okay, is there anything else, Frank? Okay. 
All right, so with that, we'll go ahead and close the, uh, the, this part of the public meeting. For those online, thank you for joining us. Um, you're welcome to stay on even after we've ended the recording and um, we'll, we'll attempt to answer questions. And then for those that, are, that attended in person, we, can, uh, we have staff that can help you and answer any questions you have. Thank you very much.